Buongiorno, sono Grazia e adesso vi preparerò i ravioli al pesce. Grazia lives in Manarola, one of the five stunning villages that make up the Cinque Terre in Liguria. She and her husband started their restaurant Da Aristide in 1964 and she made up this ravioli dish to make the most of the catch of the day. Today she has a branzino or sea bass. She fillets it and will use the bones to make stock for another dish. She adds a tablespoon of mild flavoured Ligurian olive oil to her pan and gently fries the fish with some salt and fresh thyme. You can use other kinds of fish. I ravioli li posso fare sia col pesce, diciamo, anche di scoglio, lo scorfano, eh, qualsiasi pesce che possano prendere che sia un pesce fresco e si fanno i ravioli. Next, Grazia makes her pasta. She uses 300 grams of zero zero flour and adds three eggs to her well and a pinch of salt. She gives everything a good knead until the dough becomes smooth. Then she covers it and leaves it to rest for 30 minutes. She adds a glass of good white wine to the fish and lets the alcohol evaporate. Grazia makes a sughetto, which in this case is a fresh tomato and shrimp dressing for the ravioli. Questi ravioli sono una ricetta popolare nel ristorante? Sì, eh, diciamo, adesso non le facciamo spesso perché essendoci poca gente, però li facciamo con un sughetto di gamberi e pomodorini e sempre il timo, che è il nostro... She adds some thyme and oil to another pan. Grazia chops up some sweet flavored tomatoes. The local name for thyme, by the way, is peve. This sauce doesn't contain any garlic or onion to interfere with the delicate flavors. She shells the shrimps and dices the meat. È un sughetto anche molto veloce questo qui, eh? perché il gambero, il pomodorino è già dolce. Il gambero non deve cuocere molto. She adds this to the tomatoes and sautés the mixture with a splash of white wine. Un'aggiunta di vino bianco. Eh? Grazia puts the water on to boil for the ravioli. She's using a pasta roller for the dough. She starts at maximum and works her way down to the second thinnest setting. She keeps the dough well floured. The fish has been off the heat and is cool enough to handle. Grazia zets an organic local lemon over the mixture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Grazia is using her fingers, but she is dotting the equivalent of a heat teaspoon along the dough strip, leaving about five centimeters between them. She folds the dough over the fish, then she presses down between the filling and uses a pastry cutter to create her ravioli squares. She repeats the process until she has used all her fish filling. Questa l'ho passata un po' meno perché l'avevo già dorata prima. Sempre tutto anche al ristorante sempre tutto a mano. Sì, giù abbiamo l'impastatrice, eh. Grazia cooks the ravioli in simmering salted water for three minutes and then finishes them in the sughetto.
She adds a few more thyme leaves. This is her restaurant's signature dish. It's elegant and flavoursome. I ravioli sono pronti. Per mangiare. Elena, Grazia's granddaughter, is the lucky person tasting them. Ciao, sono Elena, sono la nipote di Grazia e sono venuta a mangiarmi i ravioli. Buon appetito! Me lo mangio? Sì. Mm. Buonissimo! Molto buono! Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies.